Hello, this is Paul. I think I'm still setting up my mic here, but good morning. There is a Raptor uh, underneath the Starship here. So 1,000 Escurti, how you doing? Loki, let me know if you all can hear me good with the mic here. You can see it a little bit here. Folded eagle. Great, 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 great. I'm setting up the uh, tripod a little bit here. Forgot to do this before. There we go. Good morning. Hey, Dan, Barry. Wow, this uh, tripod, uh, this zoom really goes around. On the bottom right there, I got some shots with my other camera, but um, I can't upload that right now until I bring my computer. I didn't bring my computer with me, but I did get some close-up shots of that. Just to the bottom right there of the Starship is a Raptor. I'll use my hand right over here. So uh, it's uh, that's the big news for this morning. Hey, Alexander. From France, that's cool. Javier, Milanka, a lot of a lot of people I don't recognize this morning. Good morning to all you. It's good stuff. So I'll put it in the center of the screen here. Yeah, the Raptor egg hatch. That's right. I'm not sure which side, what kind. I did see yesterday some people, maybe, maybe I'm not sure who posted the photo, but of three raptors that came over to the build site. Uh, this is the first uh, raptor I've seen here on site, here at the lawn site. Uh, Brian said something about a claw on the quick disconnect, dis so I'll keep an eye on that. I will look at that. We got a little bit of wind this morning. Mud. Focus. Yeah, I can focus by zooming out. That's the only way I can focus with this camera. Hey, Caterpillar. Thank you. Yeah, somebody, uh, I think it was uh, possibly from Russia or one of those countries over there, said, hey, Paul, please go look at the base of the Starship, right? And like, okay, I just took some photos. Uh, it's illegal to go underneath the Starship to take photos, but... So I came back over here, so it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius, the wind from the southeast at 4 miles an hour, 6 kilometers, current humidity is 83. And so I zoomed in here at the base of the Starship, and what do you know, I did I did see something there. So, thank you to, I can't pronounce the name, I can't even read the name of the person who asked me to check it out, but yeah, there it is everybody. I, I have a good close-up of this. Uh, Mike, it was not installed already, so they just moved it here last night. It was not here yesterday, and there were no engines on it previously, so um, in this time around, in this cycle. So, yeah, I think so. Raptor installed, David. I think so. What else would they have it here for, right? Uh, yeah, Tom, I'm not sure. I don't know the ins and outs of what's going on at SpaceX. Hey, Alan from Dominica again. Good morning to you. Uh, cool. So that is, that is that. I want to make sure I really showed that. I only see one so far. I think I heard of three that came in yesterday over at the build site. So I know there's another two Raptors hanging around somewhere. Hey, Lonnie. Morning. Walk dog. Yasu. Walk dog. So that's that. I'll, I'll do a quick show of some of the other things here. And, um, I did look over at Best Buy yesterday, and they have a couple Rode, R-O-D-E, Rode mics that I was uh, considering buying or spending some money on. 
Tile, the nose cone. Yeah, I'll zoom to the tiles. Good, good one. I forgot about that. Here we go. So we have a decent view here because the, the sun hasn't gotten too strong yet here. And the heat hasn't started uh, heating up these tiles. So we might be able to get a decent shot with this, with this camera that I have here. Again, I did just order a a U solo streamer kind of thing. So I'll be able to maybe live stream with the Nikon coming up in the next two weeks. Tom says it has to be Raptor number 69. It's only fitting that it's in line for booster four and chip 20. I'll take your word on that. I don't know. Well. Wow. Yeah, so the everything except for the cone seems to be almost complete because the rest of the body is, is mostly good. Hey, Brian. And hopefully, Brian, I'll be able to soup this up quite a bit in the next two weeks. I, I bought something that will allow me to, to tie together a bunch of uh, phone lines, a bunch of cell lines and give a much clearer signal. So I should be able to use a camera that is uh, at least 10 times better than this one. Whereas this is a seven times zoom here, uh, I can, I'll be able to have 125 zoom live stream. Yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be it should be amazing, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'll I will uh, pan to the right since there was a fire here yesterday. I don't see any evidence of it over here. Um, looks like my tripod's not exactly level. I don't see any evidence of a fire over here, but it was here. That's for sure. Just out in these fields here across the, uh, yeah, 1080, Greg. It'll be 1080. You can see South Padre Island is in that direction in the distance. But um, this is where that fire was yesterday. It's still looking pretty green. So maybe some stuff burned, but a lot of it didn't. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe some of this stuff I'm seeing here in the foreground, some of this darker stuff. Maybe that was burnt. I'm not sure. You know, out out in this little field up here, maybe that was. I don't know if that was burnt or not. But it it does have a little darker color there. But there's still a lot of grass over here. So not everything was taken away. You know, this is where we usually see the sunrise. So still looking pretty nice out here. Yeah, so I will get back to the um, Starship. I wasn't intending to get the sunrise, but we do have the sunrise coming over here. Yeah, there's still a lot of green here, everybody. So it wasn't a catastrophic burn. It was just uh, whatever it was. Um, there was some burning here yesterday evening. For whatever reason. And I will come back to the sunrise. I know it's uh, very beautiful. And I would continue to watch it. But I'm going to show some of the other sites. Here we go. We still have the. Um, sleeve cover is still there. It hasn't been moved. So I'm glad I didn't stick around yesterday or the night or the day before to see if they would move it. I would have got a waste of time to stick around. So. You see there on the left, the, the sleeve cover here, they're planning to move it. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure when, but they haven't, I haven't seen any, any activity on that yet. They did move it here from the build site though. So. Yeah, thanks for the appreciation. Yeah, I'm glad you, uh, you like the commentary and everything like that. That's good stuff. All right, and uh, I can show the tower. Hey, Daniel. 
I can get another shot of this too, another view of this, but, and you can see they're working on the, <laughs> they're working on the catch, catch arm also. Yeah. I'll zoom up like this and I'll go down uh, afterwards. So that's the zoomed out view. You can zoom in. Um, what I like is that you can see kind of the areas where it's more built up than the other ones. Let me loosen this up a little bit. There we go. So this is obviously an area that's more going on in that area than any other area. There's a lot at the top too, like that. And, you know, later in the day, at another time, I will get other shots of this where you can see more you know, due to the sunlight. So, anyway, so that's about what's going on. Just want to do a quick update about the Raptors. And I can move the tripod and get another shot of the catch arm there. But let me tighten everything up here. That's about it. That's about it. I uh, didn't do such a great job with the uh, leveling. Hey, Christina. Morning. That it, that other piece there is uh, part of booster booster three from the top in the center. Um, I'm not sure if they've done any painting, Will, on the catch arm. All right, everybody, I'll zoom out. ABBA Tommy Cosmo S. I don't know what that means. Uh, I usually just focus everything, all my attention here at the launch site, SpaceX. I'll get in the shot here, too. This is uh, me, Paul Mamakos, here at Ocean Cam. Um, and I'm here almost every day getting the live shots at what's going on. And I like uh, I like to watch construction. And uh, the mission is to, to video and film to photograph the liquid on other moons and planets here in the solar system. Mostly because it would change the story of humanity and because we've never done it before already. Uh, you know, I've never seen any photos of water or liquid on any other moon or planet here in the solar system, even though we have confirmed uh, science or con confirmed data from, from many, many different missions we've already done. So we haven't been able to get any photos yet of liquid on another moon or planet, but I think it is possible. And that's what I'm helping to, to bring the focus on that so that we can at least do it once and to change our story, uh, to know, to have seen that there is liquid on another moon or planet here in the solar system. Check out some of my other videos that I've done where I've talked more about that. All right. Uh, liquid water, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah if we want to build a prison here on earth and then say we're protecting the planets that's uh that's one way to go about it too the planetary protection program it could also be called a prison a prison you know are we prisoners here on earth or are we free to explore the stars you want to make everything you want to protect everything out there away from the humans that's one way to do it we put us in a cage and we will protect the, the solar system from humans. All right, everybody. Good morning. Um, you, you, you kind of stirred something in me there. <laughs> anyway, vibes. Yeah, I think it's, we can have a prisoner system here on Earth. Or we could call it a planetary protection program, 1984. Call it whatever we want, but it's the, still the same thing. Hey, the dragon. Hey, big, big Take care, everybody.
consider the words that I've spoken. And thanks for joining. Take care.